Welcome to the LBUSD AT training video on how to share things with friends on BoardMaker Online. It's kind of like social media. You have to be friends on BoardMaker before you can share things easily. So you need to request to be someone's friend and then they need to accept your request. So to find someone from your homepage, click on Community and then Browse Members. So you can toggle on for my organization only. So now you can just browse through all the people from Long Beach Unified if you want. Or you can turn my organization off and you can search by name. So I'm typing in someone's name that I want to add as a friend. Now remember, before I can share an activity I created, my request must be accepted by the other person. So I'll click on his name and click Add as Friend. So now the friend request has been sent. So let's assume that the person has accepted my request and I really want to share this awesome bingo game that I created or stole from someone else. So I'll go back to my board maker to find the activity. Scroll down, there it is, bingo. So I'll click on the name of the activity, then click the envelope to send to a friend. So now I can scroll through and click to send it to all the people who are my friends already. So I'm going to share this with Laura and Emily. You can also down here add email addresses of people who aren't your friends on BoardMaker Online. Then you click share. So now my friends will receive an email notification that I've shared the activity. When they log in to their home page, they'll see a new message. So in my messages, this is from another teacher who shared an activity that she created with me. So if I want to add the activity to my activities, you're going to need to click on the activity and then click this plus sign that will add it to my activities. So now when I go to my board maker, this bathroom activity that my friend shared with me shows up. So I can edit it if I need to. So I hope that you have enjoyed this easy way to share activities with friends. And if you have any questions, you can always contact the AT department, but please explore the help and training center on the help menu. This is a great resource that is full of videos, and articles that can kind of walk you through any questions that you might have. Thank you.